not too bad. First cast of the morning. Nice little snug. Beautiful. Little subsurface twitch bait. As you can see, first cast. Not the greatest, but nice little snug right under those pilings over there. Let's see if there's a little bigger one. There we go. Second cast, guys, second cast. Another small snook. Little light tackle. to film an intro because it was way too windy at the truck you guys wouldn't have heard me anyway but we are here Pine Island Matt Lachey area waiting um, as you saw earlier I caught the first two snook not too big but they were very fun on light tackle been fishing for about I don't know, over an hour now hour and a half waiting just walking the flats walked over a mile probably from where my truck is and it's it's been rough it's been very rough i my theory is all the fish are stacked up in deep water right now it's very shallow it's super cold very windy but who knows maybe on the flip tide they'll start coming in didn't see any reds saw a couple snook spooked them as i was walking but that's about it. I'm going to try some ledges and docks. Maybe that will produce. But we'll see. Who knows? Mr. Red, I think. Could it be? Could it be? Yes. Mr. Redfish finally decided to come join the fun. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that tail, just lit up, blue. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful, healthy, healthy fish. So I caught that red earlier on a white little paddle tail with this DOA jig head. Changed it, changed it up a little bit, put this watermelon color pattern. Z-Man, 
and pufferfish decided to come and destroy it on my first cast. Hey. Nice. Oh my god, don't pull me in the mud. Come on, come on. way out there. I'm just gonna open the spool, walk to him, hopefully he doesn't break me off. Oh man. And he's off. There he goes. Oh man. What a great snuck guys. Great snuck. boys and girls let me give you a little recap of what just happened so I was fishing my 10 pound braid light on 15 pound leader which is fine you can land decent fish on that however I was fishing a I'm not sure exactly what the size it was but it was a smaller DOA jig head with a Z-man pattern right here about three inch pitched it near the dock snook instantly picked it up so the fight was on dragged me underneath the dock I had to open the spool let him run as I'm walking to him he doubled over came back over to where I was and my backpack actually got caught on the pier that's how it is guys gamble when you're using light tackle I mean I love it but that's the problem you get more bites but when you do hook into a big fish like that it's it's heartbreaking when they uh, give it to you all right time to re-rig after that royal spanking that I just got what kind of knots do you guys like to use on braid to mono I'm curious um, there's quite a few that I like to use, but a lot of people have their likes, dislikes, reasons. Let me know. Another good little tip. When you're tying, you need a braid. Or braid to uni, whatever you want to, however you want to say it. Um, just throw some saliva on it. I know it's kind of gross, but just throw some saliva on it. Helps with the braid. Helps smoothen it out, and it doesn't clump it on the mono. Simply do this. Get your line. Make a simple little like that. This wind will let me. Then you get your tagline. Put it through the eye. put it right back through the loop that you just made. Keep your fingers like that. You want to make a little triangle right here. Then you're going to loop your tag line to your main line. I do three times. One, two, three. Come back, put it through the little triangle. And then put it through this loop, loop that you just made right here. Round two. Let's see what wants to hit this. There we go. Yes. All right. Got him out on the open. Hopefully I can land this one. <laughs> come on, big girl. Come this way. Come this way. All right. All right. Hopefully we'll land this one, boys and girls. She hit right off this flat or this grass. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a little grass fly right here. Oh my god, that was that almost made me throw up. The other the first one that broke me off was nice, but this one was 
Oh my god. Sorry guys, I chipped the paint off the, the head right there. Also, it's all frayed up. If you guys can see it. But She was a lot bigger. Beautiful. Bright silvers and yellows. She's gorgeous. I am so mad at myself. She came and smacked it right in front of me and I wasn't even rolling. As the camera turned off at the time, she choked it. Oh man. Come here, big girl. Come here, come here. Whew. Yes. <laughs> Let me put my hands on her first. Oh man. Look at that, boys and girls. That was an awesome take. Oh my goodness. I watched her come right off that grass flat. Oh my god. Look at her. Nice. Stay out here, big girl. Oh my goodness. It's awesome. There you go. All right. They're coming from the following. There, there it is. There. It's a nice. Another one. All righty. Oh, these snook are gorgeous. So clean. Yeah, beautiful. That's how you want it every time in the corner. Right in the corner. Pretty much cookie cutter. About 22, 23. But they are gorgeous. <laughs> Spicy little guy. Out here, get that little mite off you. There you go. Come here. Well, boys and girls, all good things must come to an end. That was it. That wraps up the day back here at the house. Um, started out rough, as you guys saw, with those two small snook. About an hour and a half of just straight walking on the flats with about eight inches of water, ankle deep, maybe, if that trying to find water and trying to find potholes but like I said earlier in the video once that tide came in and started coming in those snook turned on um, it was a good sign to see a lot of those smaller males mix in with those big females as well because it's a good sign to have a little bit of both after that red tide back summer of 2018 uh, horrible devastated this area but the fishing's coming back i mean it's it's looking very good not like it was but it's getting there definitely very healthy fish beautiful fish clean the snook were beautiful silver those golds those yellows on them that redfish was gorgeous i don't know if you guys saw too much of the tail but that tail was just lit up blue and just beautiful beautiful fish it's good sign good sign the area is coming back that's it guys that's all i have for you guys today um let me know what you guys like to use on the flats when you're targeting reds and snook when you're in that shallow of a water i know some people like weedless some like spoons some like jigs i'm personally a jig kind of guy but 
No, that's just me. I like to broaden my horizons. Let me know. I know you, some of you guys are local in the area of Southwest Florida. Shout out to you guys. Um, let me know if you guys want to get together and go fishing sometime. Love to get to know you guys and make some more fishing buddies. It's, that's what it's about. Like I said, that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching and next time, guys.